In this third video of my search engine series, we will be looking at, the, at Microsoft Bing, formerly known as just Bing. Microsoft Bing has about 2.5% of the market share in internet searches. One of the reasons why I will not be looking at Yahoo separately is because Yahoo actually utilizes the Bing search engine for its searches. So Bing has roughly about 4.1% of the market share. Again, first we'll deal with CCleaner and how you need to run it in order to start with a clean browser. Then we'll look at how to configure Microsoft Bing search in Mozilla Firefox, followed by Google Chrome, and finally in Microsoft Edge. Welcome. This is Steve Stays, and it is my pleasure to help you make your computing experience easier. There are a lot of biased reviews on the internet with regards to different search engines and how they can benefit you or potentially destroy you. Some search engines take privacy into consideration and others, well, they don't. One of my goals is to present a series of videos that leaves out all the rhetoric and instead gives you an unbiased look about how you can set up the different search engines on your computer. In this video, I am going to review Microsoft Bing, which has its origins in MSN Search, Windows Live Search, and Live Search. Is this better than DuckDuckGo, Google, Yahoo, or many other search engines that are out there? I will leave that up to you to decide, as I do have my personal preference. This video is strictly about how to use Microsoft Bing, if that becomes your preference. Alrighty, back onto our computer. Let's run CCleaner. CCleaner is designed to get rid of all the cache, the cookies, and the garbage that accumulates. Now, why do we run this before customizing our browsers? Simply because if you browse the internet a lot, you'll have thousands upon thousands of cookies and pages to scroll through to make sure you keep your customized settings. So we're gonna start from scratch. As you can see from here, Microsoft Edge, Edge Chromium, Internet Explorer, and on the Applications page, Firefox, Google Chrome. All of them I've selected to delete the cookies, the downloaded history, uh, saved passwords, which brings a point to mind, don't ever save your password in a browser, no matter what. So now that we've cleaned that all, let's go into Options, and under Cookies, you'll see there's no cookies on this computer. So let's start with Mozilla Firefox. Open it up and it is currently set as the def all of its defaults. So we go to www.bing.com. All right, this is your default Bing search page. And if we want to set this as our default load up page, all we have to do is then Mozilla Firefox, click on these three lines at the top here, click on options, click on home on the left. Right here you have home page and new windows. We'll change this to custom URLs and we'll use the current page, which is Bing. If you want to change your default search engine, click on search. And right here, we under default search engine, click on the drop down and you'll see Bing. So when we open up a new tab and we click on a search, say for example, we click on, we type in Canada, there you can see it's using Microsoft Bing to search for every reference to Canada. Let's close these tabs down. A nice thing about Bing is it's got these options right up here. The three lines at the top right corner of the Bing page, if you click on this, you have certain settings that you can change. You can set your region, in my case it's Canada. You can even set your specific town, city, postal code, or whatever you want in here. You can also change your safe search to no setting or very high setting, depending on what you want to filter out. Then at the bottom here are some of the settings that I normally turn off. I don't want to show the menu bar and I don't want the news and interests at the bottom. I just like a nice clean page. So when you make these changes, all this the changes that you make actually get saved into a cookie. And that's why we wanted to clean off our computer first. So we'll browse away from the cookies page just to refresh it, come back in, and you'll see there's our bing.com and www bing.com so now that we've got those two cookies saved let's open up Google Chrome same thing here if we want to go to bing.com we can make the same changes in here as well we don't want to show the menu bar we don't want to show news and interests but I do I've got to admit I do like backgrounds especially when it changes every day just having a boring old white background is exactly that boring so I leave the image on and I make sure this becomes our default. So if you want to change Google Chrome, 
right click on the three or click on the three dots in the top right corner go into settings scroll down to the bottom click on open a specific set of page or pages and we can use the current page which is bing.com just above this we can see this default search engine click on google the drop down here change that to bing so now that we've changed that your default search which is this top bar in all browsers is now your search bar and as soon as you type in there whatever your default search engine was set for that's the engine it will use to search the internet so in this case we can see we're using microsoft bing the third browser that we use is microsoft edge now every search engine so if we use google search it's ideal to set up Google Chrome to use that as a default because there's additional things that it sets up if you're using their browser. The same is true of Microsoft uh, Bing as well. If you use Microsoft Edge and you sign into your account, you'll get additional things that you wouldn't otherwise get in the other browsers. So if we go to bing.com, again, we'll make these same changes in here. We'll click on the drop down. We've set to Canada English. We'll get rid of those two options at the bottom here. Click on the three dots and go into settings. On the left hand side, we can see on startup. So we can either set a specific page. In this case, we'll use Bing as our default start page. And if we want to change our default search engine, click on privacy search and services. Scroll down to the bottom. Click on address, address bar and search. And right here is where you would change your default to Bing. Now what I was referring to is if you sign in, using Microsoft Bing. Say, for example, I sign in here. Okay, now that I've signed in, you can see that you've got your profile picture and your email address at the top here. You have other, if you have other accounts, which I do, you can switch back and forth between them. And also, if you've saved your settings on other sites, you can bring them in here. There is additional options if you click on your picture. If you've got a business account, it'll bring up a link to all your business emails, which will show up on the bottom half of the screen. Obviously, for security reasons, I don't want to bring that up at the moment. But that just gives you an idea of some of the other options that you could have if you signed in with your own account. So now if we check CCleaner, you can see cookies, there's so many that starts populating in your computer, which is why this is a program to me that's imperative that you run it on a regular basis. So we'll run it quickly. And as we can see, it's going through our three browsers and it's deleting it, all the stuff that it's saved. Now we'll open up Mozilla Firefox and you can see Bing is still our default and all our, set, our settings are saved. Opening up Google Chrome. Once again, you can see our settings have been saved. And last but not least, we'll open up Microsoft Edge. Once again, you can see we're still signed in. All of our settings have been changed. So. Now that you know how to set up your default search page in all three browsers and how to change the default search engine to Microsoft Bing in all three, take a few moments to customize your computer and to get more out of it under your terms and not how someone else might have set it up for you. I trust and hope that this series of videos and in internet search engines has helped you. If so, please consider subscribing by clicking on the subscribe button down below. Thanks for popping in, take care, and have a fantastic day.